support. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. I know Ray and Carlin have been buzzing about this one all day, and we are finally officially underway. Takes the pass. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Sends the pass down low. And he had an answer with that save. Picked up along the wall by Kaspik. Grabs control of it at the point. Toronto's got the puck. And he takes the feed. And that's broken up. He's got a step. He scores! Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. Manitoba's got the home crowd right back into it here in the first five minutes. I love the way that they approach this game. They weren't going to hold back at all. And now they can play from the lead. And he easily stops that one. Nice feed. Stays with it. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Thompson. From the left side, takes it at center. The Condors look to start the transition game. Ben's got it into offensive territory. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a shot. Oh, if that's horseshoes, he'd be ringing it up. Yeah, but we're not playing that, James. What we need is a puck on the net, man. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Oh, Waffle boards it to keep it out. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Manitoba's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Get right. and a little physical there with that collision. Moves around along the half wall. The Moose have the puck in their own zone. Kaspik's taking it from his own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Nice dish from the left wing. Broda's got it in the offensive zone. Grabs the puck. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Takes the return feed. Jake's got it to the side. Delight penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. This is always a fine line penalty. You're allowed a little interference, just not that much. Manitoba's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, the power play gets to dust itself off here. First opportunity tonight. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Jake. The Moose have possession along the boards. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, it's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people up there. And he takes the pass. Toronto's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Thompson's got it along the wing. Sends it in front. Scores! What a finish on the play! really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up and that's the one timer from the low slot more than half the frame has been played here manitoba's got a three goal lead like a shot and we are back underway takes the feed handles the pass Jake's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a 
dangerous player. Couldn't make the connection on the play. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Thompson. And that pass doesn't go. Right up the gut, here they go. From the point, they take control of it. Centering feed! Oh, he scores! What a run of play this has been. Four straight goals for the middle, not getting the foot off the gas at all. Here in the late goings of the period, Manitoba's now up by four. Puck a shot and play resumes. Offside the call, we'll get a reset. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Pass broken up. Picked up along the boards by Ben. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. First period nearly in the books here. Puts it on in. Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Jake. Castles plays it now. Period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski with you. Period number two. The middle frame ready to go. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Play whistle dead offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. Manitoba's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. The Condors win the faceoff. Looks to get the puck over to Jake. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. And the puck leaves the zone. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Moose have gained possession off the wall. Can't make the connection on the pass. Manitoba's in on the offensive attack now. Moves into the slot. Denies him in close. Sharp reaction save. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Well, with both centers tied up in the scrum, that's a smart read on her part to come up with it. Sends the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Into the attacking area from the left side. There's the whistle, offside is the call.
Toba's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And now he angles it across to Jake. The Condors gain control of the puck against the wall. Toronto's playing it from the side. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the official's decision. That's an easy one, James. That's a trip every time. Toronto sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Retrieves the puck trying to kickstart this power play. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Kasper stick handling in his own zone. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Slick feed. Strong feed from along the boards. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Moves it to Ben. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a 4-1 game. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Can't make it work. Manitoba's got possession while under man. Solid effort by the penalty-killing unit as the power play comes up empty. You'll need more than that to beat them. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play, but 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Handles the puck. Jake's got it against the boards. Receives the pass. And he's able to handle that one. Good save. Positional save through traffic. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Manitoba's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Jake. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, they had the right idea but couldn't make that play with the pass. Thompson's lugging the puck. Stoppage in play, offside the call. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. Manitoba's gained possession along the board. Hard hit on the play. Wow, did he ever finish him hard. And when he dropped... He also dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself. Looks like a yard sale out there. Oh, and he whiffs. Takes the puck. Taken by Kespin. Toronto's got the puck against the wall. Good timer. And he stands tall in goal. Scooped up along the wall by Jake. Look at this. They've got some bodies here on the attack. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Condors don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. There's a lot of variation you can use out of this 1-3-1 set. You can dump the puck into the bumper spot. Creatively, it goes to either side, and then you have traffic in front of the net. Here's a short pass to Thompson. With possession along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Kespik. Sends it out in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. Quick pass to Thompson. Along the half wall with the puck. And he puts that one aside with ease. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Manitoba's won the draw. 
And he slides it quickly to Jake. And the stick, his best friend on that save right there. In the final moments of this period, 4-1 is where we sit. A pretty one-sided affair. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Kasperk's crossed the line and is on the attack now. One last gas to make something happen on this power play. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Here's an offensive chance. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And the puck departs the zone. Toronto's got one last chance to make something happen before the end of the period. On the attack along the boards. Wow. He scores! They quickly take advantage of a team that fell back on their heels. It's like they lost their energy for a moment, knowing they were going to be penalized. And it proved costly. Man, I'm watching that replay, James. You didn't really have time to call his name before that puck's on and off the stick from the low slot. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the sentiment tied him up. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, and don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. After that second intermission, we're ready to drop the puck on period number three. And this one's underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? Manitoba's ridden the roller coaster up and down tonight. They're in the lead, but I don't know about you, James, but I don't see anything but a wild finish to this. Last shot wins. And that shot dies in traffic. And he makes the easy save. We got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. We're still in the early stages of this period. Manitoba's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Ah, a little bit of a confusion there, but that's a penalty, and there'll be one minor call. once again send out their power play unit just because the power play hasn't had a success run here you can't focus in on that you can't try to do too much move the puck the way that you practice get people to the front of the net it's really a simple equation and he denied him there quick pass across to jake oh look who it is again man he's been on the receiving end a half a dozen times or so tonight He's clearly part of the game plan tonight. I can't even imagine what the welts will look like after this one. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Manitoba's got possession here in their own end. Grabbed along the board by Castles. And that's broken up. Slides the puck over. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. Last call here on this man advantage. Yeah, the power play's got to get the puck up the ice with a little bit of urgency. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. 
Puck possession, so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Manitoba's got it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Ben. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Moves it to the middle. continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Manitoba's got the puck along the boards. Moves it up through the middle to the right. Great save from in tight. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. Moves it to Broda. Poked away at center ice. Broda's got the puck. Picked up along the wall by Ben. Sends it quickly to Jake. To the low slot. And does it go? Manitoba's gained possession. Can't find his man. Slides the puck down low. Grabs the puck. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Great use of the twig as he pulls that one away. Moves it quickly over to Jake. Your man's got to be pumped here. From the top of their lineup to the bottom, it's been good performance after good performance. And he gives it over to Kespik. Manitoba's looking to break out. Now a quick pass to Jake. From the point, looks to make something happen. From the blue line. Oh, and he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Manitoba's got it in their own zone. Scoops up the puck here. Nice pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Moose have the puck against the boards. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Manitoba's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. Jake's got it along the boards. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. With the delayed penalty, everybody falls back on their heels a bit. They don't defend well, and it's in their net. The Condors have got one back here now in the third. They're really going to have to push. They're going to run out of time here in the last period. Manitoba's won the draw in the neutral zone. Jake's going to play it against the half wall. Broda's got it in the defensive end. And he takes the feed. The Condors played along the boards. The Moose have taken possession along the wall. Toronto's gained the line and into the zone. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Manitoba's got a hold of it against the wall. And there's a power play opportunity coming up here. He scores! They were more aggressive knowing that they were going to get a power play. You can take a chance. There's no risk of giving up anything against. Manitoba's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. Get right! Oh, devastating hit on the play. 
Sometimes, James, you think you got more time than you do. There was no room left. That looked painful. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Manitoba's got a hold of the puck. The Condors take possession here in the open ice. Quick pass to Castles. And he takes the dish. And it's a quick pass to Jake. There's a solid collision. Penalty coming up. Whistle stops the play. You can feel the air coming out of the bench here. Down a bunch, and now they take a penalty. The frozen biscuits drop, and we are back underway here. Gets it out of his own end. Manitoba's got a hold of it along the wall. Sends a pass over. Back to the point it goes. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Passes out front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. Well, and as we put a bow on this one, they called upon the thunder. And they got it literally here. Well, man, JT, they challenged these guys to a match. It didn't work out anyway the way they thought it was going to, and they take the L.
wonderful night for hockey. Let's get set to drop the puck. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. Just moments away. The Condors start with possession as we are now underway. And that pass doesn't go. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. Pass broken up. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Hartford's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Couture. Right on the doorstep. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Cappy's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Biscuit Knees. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Can't make the connection on the pass. Toronto's got it along the wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Broda. Hartford's got it in their own zone. A feed out front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. From the half wall, a chance. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Hartford's got the puck. Moves the puck. Blocked in traffic. The Condors have the puck now. Into the corner. Unloads it! Denies him again! They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure! Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes the puck at the point. Moves it to Biscuit Knees. Still lots of time left in the period. The game is still scoreless. Toronto's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Takes the pass. Denies them with the pad. Into the butterfly, slides across to make the save. Even though he's not very happy here, James, I don't really know what his defense is. That's a penalty to me. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. Though I love playing on the power play. It's my favorite thing I did. So here you are in a scoreless game. These guys can't get on the ice fast enough for their first opportunity. And he takes the feed. The Condors carry it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Ben. Turn that chance aside. The Condors will play it against the boards. Find some space in the corner. Fails to find the open man. And a little body contact on that play. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. Oh, that was pulverizing in the corner. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed and we are still tied. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. There's the whistle icing the call. Well past the midway mark of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Couture's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Giroux. Trying to get the puck away from the inferno here. And not much on that one. Quick pass to Ben. There's the whistle. We got an offside. Well, they've been under so much pressure here in the defensive zone the last little while. They look like they're totally out of gas. This stoppage comes at the right time. 
Nice job tying up his opponent. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Nice feed from the right wing. Hartford's got possession of the puck. Cuts to the front. Oh, what a goal by Hartford's got the proverbial breathing room here with the lead. Every game is about shortening the life of the opposition. Now you've got a lead late in the first period. You can squeeze the game a little bit. Toronto's on the attack. Here's a pass down low. Can't make it work. Biscuit Knees has it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Couture. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Ben. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Getting into the later stages of this period. Hartford's ahead, 1-0. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. The Condors have it now. Nice feed. Concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Ray, 20 minutes into this one. What do you make of this one so far tonight? Toronto's probably pretty happy with that first period that they played. They had the puck a lot, but what they have to change is they trail by one. The Condors ready to go on the attack. He gets a piece of it with a stick. We see goaltenders in this final right. practicing it every day. Positioning. There's the whistle. Look at this. A penalty shot. He's chasing, reaching for the puck. He ends up tripping the shooter, and they're going to give out a penalty shot.
timer grabs your eye for the goal here, but he's got to get into position to get open to unleash this cannon. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Toronto's shown a new energy over these last few yeah, minutes. Right. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And now it's grabbed by Giroux. And that's turned aside. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Biscuit knees, plays the puck. Gets yeah, right. the front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Quick feed to Ben. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed at the point. Into the corner of the attacking area. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And she knocks it away with great use of the twig. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Castles. And sends it just out of reach. Puck scooped up by Castles. Moves it to Ben. Hartford's got control of it now from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Play is called for offside. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Sends it out in front. Couldn't complete the pass. And he gets caught up. He tried to protect himself by getting his stick up, but he didn't get it up far enough. He got rattled out of his hands. Now he's got to chase it down. Couture's won the draw inside his own end. Cappy's got it along the boards. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. They've got numbers here. He scores! Now you got to keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. He's got such quick hands, James. That puck's on and off his stick in a hurry. And you have to deliver it fast if you're that close to the net. Toronto's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game late in the period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in the period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Too many bodies in the way. And he takes a shot. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Late goings of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Toronto's won the draw. And here's the pass to Ben. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass over to Giroux. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Takes the feed. Poked away in the neutral zone by Couture. Hartford's going on the attack as they gain the zone. The Condors will play it from the defensive zone. Hartford's grabbed a hold of the puck. And he moves it up to Biscuit Knees. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Couture's won it in their own end. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three, next.
face off for period number three is ready to go. The next goal will be a critical one as we are still tied, getting underway here in the third. Ben's moving the puck through his own zone. Whiffs on that. Takes control of the puck. Play is blown dead with the offside. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Biscuit knees. Yes, Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Castles isn't going to be able to hide from these boos for the rest of the night. She was involved in that injury earlier in the game, and the home crowd is going to continually remind her they're not happy. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Hartford's got control of the puck. And that's poked away by Castles. The Condors gain control of the puck against the wall. Musa quickly over to Ben. Easily turned aside by Nolan. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Handles the pass. That pass doesn't go. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Quick feed down low. Cappy's taking it from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Couture. Hartford's got the puck against the half wall. Quick pass to Broda. Here they come on the attack. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. And there we go. Icing is the call. draw and a nice job locking up his opponent the condors take possession in the defensive end here's a short pass to Giroux and there's the save positioning's perfect he gets into the butterfly and makes the save stoppage in play as we get an offside here in the back half of this period we are all tied up in this one And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Giroux. And that's just out of reach. He says, let's get physical on that play. Takes the pass from the boards. Oh, to Madison with the paddle save. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. The Condors have it against the wall. Poked away at center by Couture. And he regains control of the puck. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Biscuit knees setting up against the wall. Here's a shot. And he had the answer on that one. Quick feed to Castles. The Condors move the puck in the defensive zone. Right off Main Street and on the attack. Scoops up the puck now. Moves it to Couture. Takes the puck behind his own cage. Takes the feed. Couldn't make that one happen. And that pass doesn't go. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Can't connect. Picked up along the boards by Couture. Biscuit knees gains the zone. Sends it across. And he makes the save. Final minute of play here in this third, and it's anyone's game for the taking. Brody.
Florida stick handling in his own zone. Sends the pass over. Hammers a shot. Gets down to knock it away. Biscuit knees has the puck against the half wall. Slick feed. And now he passes up to Ben. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Toronto's gained possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Pass broken up. Levels him with the hit. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Moves it around along the half wall. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. There's the buzzer, and that means drama looms with overtime, and it's coming up in just a matter of moments. moments of drama if you're a sports fan and overtime is set to get underway overtime has begun Ray I know you love these moments moves it to the middle picked off in front goaltender hangs on for the whistle a lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff Buck is dropped and we are back underway. A chance to end it. Looking for that glitcher, eh, bud? Oh, what a stop by the goaltender. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Couture's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. And we'll reset things after that icing. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Couture's won it off the faceoff. Knocked away. Maintains possession. Can't connect on the pass. Handles the puck. Couldn't complete the pass. Looking to break out. There's the whistle icing the call. A critical draw here. Couture's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And that plays offside. We got a face off coming up. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. And with both centers tied up off the draw, she sneaks in there and gains possession. Keeps hold of the puck. Get Oh, what a save to keep it tied! Scooped up along the wall by Couture. Fires it! What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Grabbed along the board by Couture. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Ben. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. 
a lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. To the front! Comes up with a good save! Ah, oh, that's money for the goalie. They love those saves. Snaring a glove shot. Dead center. Slot. Finish. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Jerusalem. could help her generate the scoring chance needed to put this game away, guys. Let's see how she responds here in OT. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck over to control. Grabs it in his own end. And that pass can't connect. He almost lost it for a second there but regains control of the puck moves it quickly over to Couture looking to make something happen in the offensive zone read it perfectly and breaks up the play through pass ahead he's gonna score they win it in overtime and not all heroes wear capes Look at the celebration! What a great effort tonight!
Well, this should be an absolute firecracker of a game tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome back to EA Sports.
teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. We are underway here, and let the game begin. What a save to keep it out. Ben's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Here comes the sentence. Pacetta's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. It's our first power play of the game. What a great chance to break this scoreless top. Start with a face-off win. Get the puck to the point. Start moving it around before you attack the net. Have a clear plan. Lugs the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. Puts it just wide of the net. Kogolev's going to cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Nugent's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Wilkesbury Scranton's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Picked up along the wall by Hooker. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. With possession along the wall. Wilkesbury Scranton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Pazavid's ready to join the play. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Center ice now. He grabs the puck. Castles is whacked with a slash. Delayed penalty coming up. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Nugent's stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed. And it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Takes a shot. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. Into the corner now. Slides the puck down low. Quick pass to Broda. That's not going to fool him. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it in the defensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Plays the body into that play. Slides the puck to Ben. Receives the pass. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. That opportunity is rejected. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Oh, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. A little burst of speed now as the puck's moved inside the offensive zone. And a good solid hit. You're checked wide, bud. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Broda's hit, not a good one in the eyes of the officials boarding the call. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it along the wall. Toronto's got possession while undermanned. Puck grab by Cooley. Gaining momentum up along the side. And not much on that one. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident he's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. She takes the feed. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? And somehow he hangs on. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Too passive, not aggressive enough. The puck gets moved around the outside of the penalty killers. Really doesn't become a dangerous power play. Can't make the connection on the pass. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. 
Oh, what a chance here. Can they make it happen on this two-on-one? Kogolev's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The game is still scoreless. Swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Here's a short pass to Nugent. Oh, fantastic stop there! Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Puck picked up by Ben. Can't make it work. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. The Condors scoop it up along the boards. Get Good hit on the play. And that goes off a player in front. Quick feed to Hooker. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Slides the pass over to Castles. And that pass is intercepted. The Penguins looking against the half wall. And makes the save. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Late goings of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Nugent's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Condors will lose a man tripping the call. The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. Time for the power play to go to work. They haven't had a lot of chances tonight. The play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Wilkesbury Scranton's moving it along the wing. Here's a chance! Denies him! No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. And that goes off course off a of body. Slides the puck over. Oh, I'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Inside the final minute of the first here. Toronto's PK unit gets their man out of the box. Hangs onto the puck. Moves it to Hooker. Routine save made by Kovalev. Passes out front. What a chance, but that goes off target off a body in front. There's the horn to conclude period number one, and Ray Ferraro's already off to grab his intermission hot dog. We'll be back in just a moment. Second period. Who will be the first to light the lamp here as play gets underway in the second? Ray Farrell sees the game like very few people do. Ray, what did you think of that say? first 20 minutes? I'd like to see somebody get a little aggressive here offensively. There's nothing going on in this scoreless game. Hammers it! Denies him! He got all of it! The Condors gain possession along the wall. Strong defensive effort. Musa quickly over to Ben. A chance in front. He scores! What an opportunity and delivers! I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here. That puck's got to go quick into the net. The Condors make their way back to the face-off circle at center ice, uh, clinging to a one-goal lead. Now, this middle period will have great importance. They have the one-goal lead. You don't want to give it back. Hooker's got it in the offensive zone. 
And now it's grabbed by Castles. Not able to connect. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Ben. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Feeds it down low. Toronto's got possession here in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Nice save off the tender's pad. Slides the puck to Nugent. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Centering feed! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Here's a short pass to Pizzetta. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. Gets a hold of the puck. Taken by Ben. Along the half wall with the puck. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside straight from the slot. Crowd's buzzing, ready to get things back underway, and I think the officials are too. Toronto's won the faceoff. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. From the right side, takes the pass. Broda's picking up steam. Quick feed to Hooker. The Condors have it from their own end. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Kovalev's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. More than half the period has expired. Toronto's up one zip. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Wilkesbury Scranton's moving the puck through center ice. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck in their own end. Loose it to Hooker. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. Nice pass. Wilkesbury Scranton's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Nugent. Let's move to the middle. And that goes off a Directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. The Penguins win the faceoff. Feeds it over to Hooker. The Penguins get a hold of the ball on the boards. You can't fly, bud. I don't know what that sounded like up there, but from here, that sounded like a car crash. Pokes it away in his own end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck. Quick pass to Ben. Moves the pass in front. Takes a shot. And that's deflected off someone in front. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that pass doesn't go. Pass broken up. And he takes the feed. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. The Penguins play it along the boards. And he takes the dish. Taken along the wall by Cooley. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. The Penguins take it along the wall. Toronto's got possession of the puck. The Condors will play it in their own end. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Puck exits the zone. Just a simple save by Kovalev. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next.
gets back to work here as we are underway in the period. They win the draw. The Condors gain possession in their own end. Makes a move in front. Always good to get on the board to show that you're able to help your new team. You want to show them that you're ready to play. He's on the board. He'll feel better now. Great reaction time. You're in there that tight. You got to get rid of it in a hurry so the goalie can't move and smother the net. Guys, this is actually his first goal with this club, and you know his teammates are going to be just as stoked as he is on this one. Lots more to see from this player right here. Here's a short pass to Pozzetta. Rocked over the open ice. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Steps inside the line. Sends a pass over. Rocks him on the play. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of the puck. Fails to find the open man. Oh, and that closes him off against the wall. The Condors played along the boards. Nugent's time is almost done. Toronto's power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Well, now they got a bigger hole to dig out of. They give up the shorthanded goal. A sloppy power play, and they pay for it. He got rocked again. He's got to get his head up here. They're going to be carting him off the ice. Big stop right there. Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile, even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Well, that's one way to win the... Score! Once you get one, you feel a little bit of a momentum come to your team. Now you got a couple and then a third. You feel like you're just going to carry this game and walk away with it. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. The Condors have it now. Intercepts the pass at center. Sends it over. along the boards. There's a collision with some authority. Big hit! Well, he's going to have to pick himself up, but then he's got to go get his twig, which is slid all the way over there before he can get back in the play. We've got icing on the play. Face-off coming up. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Wilkesbury Scranton's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. The Penguins move it in. And that's offside, stopping the play. Wilkesbury Scranton's won the draw in the neutral zone. A chance in front, and that's intercepted. Quick feed to Ben. Moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Hooker. On the attack along the boards. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Break away. Denied. Off the skate and score. You, you can have a bounce off the skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Rona's going to hear it from the crowd for the rest of the night. He caught that earlier injury to the home team player, and they're not very happy with it. Nice zone entry from the middle. Wilkesbury Scranton's got control of it now from their own end. Here he is with the backhander. Big time shot blocked there. From the opposite point. Moves the puck down low. 
manages to hang on. Kovalev's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Here in the back half of this period, the Condors are down a pair. Nice job tying up his opponent. Moves it to Cooley. Wilkesbury Scranton's on the attack. And that's off target as it hits a body. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Ben's taking it from his own end. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. The Condors have it against the wall. Drives to the sweet spot. Turned aside by Kovalev. Kovalev's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight. And his team's in good shape. Oh, he'll feel that one. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Ben. In all alone! Denies him! My goodness, what a save! I thought he had him, but the goalie keeps the game close with an excellent save. Moves the puck to Pizzetta. Getting a little physical there with that collision. Nugent's got it along the wing. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Under a minute to go on the third. And he makes the save on that play. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Stays with it. Here's a chance the front. And that goes off a stick. Oh, oh, my. Sometimes it looks like a heavy hit, and it is. That one was devastating. Moves the puck across to Nugent. All alone. here at EA Sports. Take care, everyone.
tonight's broadcast from EA Sports. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. Puck is dropped, let's do this hockey. The Condors played along the wing. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Can't make the connection on the pass. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. A chance in front! Can't get it to go. Picked up along the boards by Cassis. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Shot! Gets a glove on it to make the stop. DeMello's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Puck grab by Nordstrom. Wallace is stick handling in his own zone. Can't make it work. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Skips out of the battle along the boards, and here we go. And he takes the feed. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Condors carry it along the wall. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. The Bears get a hold of the puck in their own end. Wallace is moving the puck through his own zone. Passes on over to Kadri. Oh, look out! Oh, what a collision into the boards. No intention to stop in there. Early in the game, he wants to lay the hit on. Here's a pass to the middle. A blast! Now a quick pass to Nordstrom. The Bears move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Still lots of time left in the period. Still no score in this one. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Hershey's got the puck in their own end. Here he is on the backhand. And a quick save on that one. Sliding across in the butterfly covers most of the bottom of the net. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Here's the whistle as the play was offside. Well past the midway mark of this period. We're still scoreless. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Toronto's moving it up the ice. Sends it out in front. Scores! What an opportunity and delivers. That's a bullseye. He gets the puck back close to the net. He never misses. What a quick shot. Toronto's got the game's first goal just past the midway mark of the first. What's the mindset now here? They were just talking on the bench. Let's go get another. I like it. You're up one. Be aggressive. Go push the other team against the wall. And that's broken up. There's a solid collision. From behind the net, looks to break out. Toronto's looking to break out. Hershey's got the puck. Yes, right. Oh, what a hit. Ray, you can hear that from here. How about you? Yeah, oh, yeah. That'll give you a headache. That was a solid hit. And he lowers the boom there. The Condors take possession in the defensive end. Nice feed. Sends the puck across. And he regains control of the puck. You're Hershey's got a hold along the wall. And a little body contact on that play. Makes the save. I think he got a foot on that one. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all.
just here in the late stages of this frame. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Moves the puck along the half wall. Ben's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. Quick pass to Broda. And he takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Ben. Broda's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Puck picked up by Ben. The Bears take it along the wing. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. The Condors scoop it up along the boards. Castles moves the puck. Quick feed to Ben. And offside will get a reset here. Puck possession so critical in today's game. And the official ready to drop the puck right here. Toronto's won the draw. That concludes period number one. I cannot believe they got one of the all-time great 90s hip-hop acts getting set to play for the fans here in this intermission. I can't wait for this. We'll come back to period number two in just a bit. A clean sheet of ice beckons, and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Hershey's got to find another gear two or three here. They've been behind almost all night. Yes, they haven't right. had the puck very much. As a result, they're behind on the board as well. Takes the feed up ahead. He grabs the puck here at the point. Boom! What a hit! Oh, man, James, we're feeling that up here. What a solid body check delivered there. He's known for this, and he doesn't miss this opportunity. Get right! Oh, that'll make the highlight reel, Ray. Sometimes there's nowhere to go when you run into a dead end. The Bears have played from the defensive zone. Moves it to the middle, and that stopped. And there we go, icing is the call. James Sabalski, Ray Ferrar with you here in the early going of this period. The Condors lead it 1-0. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Win the draw after the icing. You possess the puck while they're running around a little bit tired. More than half the period left to play. We got a one nothing game to this point. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Benz gained the line and on the attack. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. DeMello's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Unable to reach that one. Hershey's got it along the wall. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Denies the shooter on that play. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. Gains 
control the puck here at the line. Stones him with the blocker. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Big time collision there. Poked away in the neutral zone by Wallace. Scooped up along the wall by Kadri. Toronto's got a hold of the puck now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Now he slides it up to Ben. Can't get it to go. And we'll reset things after that icing. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Condors have taken a 1-0 lead. Toronto's got possession here in their own end. Moves it to Ben. Great read with the stick. Grabbed along the board by Ben. Takes the shot. Blocked in traffic. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Picked up along the wall by Castles. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Getting into the later stages of this period. Toronto's up one zip. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Takes the puck at the point. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. Wallace has got it in the defensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Misses! No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. And that's deflected. Back in or in front. Gets a piece of it with the stick and keeps it out. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. And let's see what the call is. No bad timing, James, to take a penalty. I mean, there's no real great timing, but a one-goal lead is not the time. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Great opportunity to get this game back to level a power play, trailing by one. This is a huge opportunity. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. He got all of that one. It's a three-on-one. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Hershey's got it in their own zone. Picks up the puck. The Bears play the puck from the back of the net. Centering key! He scores! What a goal! Hershey's equalizer comes at a critical time of the game, late in the period, isn't it, Ray? Anytime you give up a goal late in the period, you feel like you've given up more than that. So this is a critical goal. Second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner.
fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. We are underway here in the third, and this could come down to next goal wins. Handles the pass. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Broda's lugging the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ben. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick feed down low. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Quick pass to Wallace. And it's a quick pass to Kadri. Here's a rocket of a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. The Condors have it now. Toronto's got it across the line. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And that pass doesn't go. Sends the pass over. What a stop right there! Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. The Bears will go to work here in the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Takes the bank pass feed. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Ben's got the puck. Here's a feed in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Pass broken up. An easy save by DeMello. He reads the play to get across in the butterfly, but you still have to be agile because that puck can change directions on you. That goes on the twig. Trying to clear the puck, and his teammate comes up with it. The Bears have it from their own end. Hershey's got the puck at center. Robert again! James, down here, it's pretty easy to see that this guy is being targeted. He's got a notice here. He's been hit so many times tonight. Quick feed to Ben. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. From the boards, he takes that pass. And that slides right out to center ice. Can't make the connection on the pass. Oh, that was like a cold crash. Slides the puck across to Ben. Slip feed. From point blank. Stars! Big time goal puts him in front. When a player gets the puck on their stick, you can tell in a big moment who's confident. It ends up in the net more often than not. Toronto's gone up by one. What's the strategy now, Ray? Nothing really changes except you are cognizant of the fact you have a one goal cushion. But you want to play up the ice. You want to be aggressive. Passes over to Kadri. Handles the puck. Get right! Oh, what a oh. hit on the play! Get your head up, or you run into that. And they fail to go take to take. Nasty hit along the wall. Taken along the wall by Kadri. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Taken by Wallace. Even though it's no scoring, it's not boring. I mean, there's chances all over the place. Just nobody can find a way to finish it, whether it's a missed shot or a great save. Fans are loving it, though. Tries to the crease. Plus save. Big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Hershey's won the draw, they'll go to work. 
And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Toronto's got him along the wall. Sends it down low. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Nordstrom. From the point, looks to make something happen. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. As good as these penalty killers are, this game isn't over yet. Just one goal separating the teams. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Takes it at center. Shot! Oh, he gets in front of that to make a great save! Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And they get the puck out. Takes the puck. Toronto's playing it from the side. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Here they come on the attack as they slide the puck inside the offensive zone. And he made the save to keep that one out of the net. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. That's almost one of those no-thinking penalties. It's a hit from behind for sure. Bad enough that it's a five-minute major. Most teams are going to... this 1-3-1 set. The key, though, is you've got to move once you get possession of the puck. If you move, the penalty killers have to follow. Take advantage of that extra player. Let's it go. Great save with the stick. Castles isn't going to be able to hide from these boos for the rest of the night. She was involved in that injury earlier in the game, and the home crowd is going to continually remind her they're not happy. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Hershey's got it, and they're on the attack. Puck sent over to Kadri. Fires it on net, and he hangs on to make the save, and this one is all over. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Toronto's coaches will probably find room to improve on, but, Ray, this was a hard-fought game, and they passed. Yeah, a win's a win, and they'll take that, and they'll want to improve in the way they defended down the stretch. But that was a really close game. They're lucky to come out on top.